What's up everyone? Today we are reviewing Qatar Airways Business Class which is often referred to as first in business ever since they launched their new Q-Suite. Qatar Airways is one of the world's most premium airlines with an excellent business class product and great lounges at its hub in Doha. Today we are flying from Chicago to Doha and then from Doha to Delhi which is my final destination. And I will be sharing my experience with Qatar Airways so stay tuned. Alright, it's boating time. And I'm super excited to meet my family and look at my cabin. It is so spacious. I ordered my favorite lemon mint drink as soon as I boarded. And this is me. Let's take a quick look at their menu. They have a wide selection of food for dinner, breakfast and even for snacks. You can order anything on this menu at any time because they offer on-demand dining service. So you can eat whenever you want to. I did not pre-book my meal this time because last time when I did that it wasn't that good and it was fixed menu and I couldn't order anything else from the a la carte. So this time I thought I'd look at the menu first and then decide what I want to eat. This is their wine menu and they have some really good wines and champagnes. Their rose champagne is quite popular. After boarding, you are offered a hot towel and it is so good. You can wipe your face or hands and it is so refreshing. There are multiple seat options as you can turn the seat into a full flat bed. They also have a light massaging option on the seat, although that did not work, so minus one point for that. Full stars to their entertainment system. It's touch screen, but you can also use this handheld device to control it. With up to 4,000 options to choose from, they had a wide selection of movies from Hollywood to Bollywood, Arabic and even some international movies. You can also check on their website prior to your flight, what movies or shows are available on your flight and plan in advance. The screen is massive 21.5 inches, which is quite good for a business class. Don't worry about too many options in your Q-suite because right before takeoff, they show you a video that gives a glimpse of what all is there in your Q-suite from seat adjustment to media panel and to storage. By the time this video will be released, the FIFA World Cup would probably be over, but you get a glimpse of it everywhere. You get a really nice pillow, a blanket and an amani ticket. You also get a pajama set for long haul flights. So let's open this. So they changed the color of the pajama set. Earlier it was gray, but since they are hosting World Cup, they changed the colors to go with their country's flag and theme. The pajamas are really soft and comfy. You also get a pair of slippers. You can charge your phone or other devices using the USB port or the universal power port. There's another USB port, an HDMI port, and even contactless NFC, but not really sure what you can use this for. If you guys know, please comment down below. I would be really happy to learn. I also noticed they are no longer giving those amenity pouch and instead giving this really cute box. So you get a face cream, a lip balm, a body lotion and a perfume that smells really good. You also get a pair of socks, an eye mask and earbuds. The fabric is thick and soft to give you a perfect night's sleep. You also get a noise cancelling headphones which upon use was pretty good. There is ample amount of space for your legs to stretch and relax. So now I'm just waiting for my dinner and I am starving. I'm watching one of my faves, Top Gun Maverick. So prior to takeoff, the cabin crew asked me my meal preference and what I'll be eating so they can prepare it accordingly. So I told them I'm a vegetarian so no meat or fish for me and I selected all the vegetarian options on the menu. And I also told them I would like to have my dinner as soon as we take off and then I'll take a nap and after I would like to have my afternoon tea and before landing I'll have my breakfast. So at first they gave me some bread and a starter which looked like some sort of cheese but I wasn't really sure as I couldn't remember ordering appetizer. So I called the attendant and waited for a good 5 to 10 minutes before they can come and tell me what it was. Was. And to my shock, it was a lobster meat. Thankfully, I did not eat that. For my second course, they served me roasted sweet corn and jalapeno soup, which was super delicious. I usually don't like soups, but this was so good, I wanted some more. I did not order anything from the appetizer section, so next they served me main course, which was Japanese-style stuffed sweet potato with guacamole, corn, and red pepper sauce. Look at that. Super delicious. And I finished it all. For dessert, I ordered some ice cream. Look at those strawberries and blueberries. It was so yum and I enjoyed it while watching my favorite TV show, The Office. 
Okay, it's time to slip into my pajamas and get ready for bed. And look at this pajamas that I am wearing. While the attendant is preparing my bed, I came to the toilet to show you guys how spacious it is. As you can see, it's quite spacious compared to Coach Cloth's toilet. They have some hand lotion and some infused facial water. Alright guys, I'm ready to sleep. I'm super tired and I plan to sleep at least 4 to 5 hours as I have a long day tomorrow after I reach India and I may not be able to rest for next couple of days. This is the blood bed and it definitely helps you to sleep better. After a good 5 hours sleep, I'm starving so I ordered afternoon tea from the menu. So we have some fresh finger sandwiches, warm scones and delicate pastries which looks mouth watering. I also ordered a cup of cappuccino and I enjoyed it all while editing one of my videos. Alright, it's time for breakfast but I'm not that hungry as I had afternoon tea a few hours ago so I told the attendant I won't be eating anything for the breakfast. Now I'm just waiting to land at Doha. We are somewhere in Middle East. He also gave me some chocolates and a hot towel before landing. So I would give this flight a solid 3 out of 5 stars because the food was really good and the cabin was really spacious but I did not really enjoy the service. I felt like they were not very attentive and they served me meat despite me telling them I am a vegetarian and they did not really apologize for that either. They just took it back and said okay we will bring you your main course. And overall, the service was really slow. So I'm not that happy with my overall experience, but look at this view. All right, I have landed at Doha and I'm in the bus, which is going to take us to the gate. From there, I'll be heading towards the lounge to give you guys a quick tour of the lounge. I went to the lounge before during COVID, so couldn't really experience it at its best, but let's see if we have a better experience this time. We still have two hours before the boarding starts, so let's just enjoy our ride to the gate. Okay guys, so this is the business class lounge, but I just found out there is a 25 minute wait because the lounge is full and there are no seats left. So I'm just gonna hang around here. I'm not really hungry, but kind of disappointed that I couldn't show you guys everything that I wanted to because once my turn comes, I don't want to spend too much time in there knowing that other people might be waiting. So I will give you guys a quick tour and this is what I ordered. This is the dessert section and there are a lot of good options. I got myself mango pastry and strawberry creme brulee and it was super delicious. Okay, so we are out of the lounge now and I'm heading towards the gate. We don't really have much time left though. That's the lamp bear at Hamad International Airport. This giant teddy is one of the attractions at the airport as it appears to have its head stuck inside a mega table lamp. This is a 23 feet high and weighs around 20 tons. This was bought for approximately $6.8 million at an auction in New York. Yeah, it's quite expensive for a teddy bear. So I'm heading towards my gate and hopefully I'll make it on time. I did something really stupid and I'll tell you about it later. Alright, I'm inside the plane now and to my surprise, I got another Q suite, although at the time of booking, this was supposed to be a regular business class and not a Q suite. As soon as I boarded, since I was super thirsty with all that running, I ordered my lemon mint drink. And I wasn't much hungry, so I asked the crew to serve me dinner before landing, and for now, I can just have a karak chai. So they got me some warm almonds and cashews to munch with the chai, and it was an amazing combination. I'm trying to watch Batman, but I guess I'm not in the right mood to watch it, so I decided I'll take an hour nap and wake up to eat my dinner. So here's my dinner we have rice, cauliflower, spinach, curry, paneer masala, bread, and dessert. The food was really good, full points. So while we take off and you guys enjoy this beautiful view, let me tell you what happened. So here's what happened. My seat number was printed as 6B on my boarding pass for Doha to Delhi flight. And since I got this boarding pass at Chicago, the gate number was not yet assigned. So when I reached Doha, I was supposed to check the gate number, but it totally skipped my mind. And I looked at 6 B and thought that's my boarding gate but it was actually my seat number so I reached the gate B6 and saw people were boarding the flight and I stood in the queue but that flight was actually going to Mumbai now since I travel to Mumbai quite often for a split second I legit thought yeah 
that's my flight but then i realized no i'm going to delhi not mumbai so i asked the ground staff and they said the delhi flight is flying from gate a6 and it was at the different concourse which was quite far and almost on the other side of the airport and it was almost boarding time so i had to literally run to catch the flight and this whole confusion happened because of the gate number and seat number were so similar it was hilarious because after all these years of flying, I've never made a mistake like that before. Usually I'm very cautious of time and everything when I'm flying, but this whole A6, B6 got me confused. I wish we were flying during the daytime because there is a rear camera on the airplane, but it's all dark now. I want to give full stars to the cabin crew. They were super attentive and the service was excellent. This is the kind of service you would expect from world-class Middle Eastern airlines, but unfortunately, my first flight was nothing like that. But overall, I really enjoyed my journey. And if you guys enjoyed it too, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos.